Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel talk shows. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A recent episode of Live with Kelly and Mark featured a guest who refused to answer questions during the Stump Mark segment. Stump Mark is a trivia game where fans call in and try to keep Mark from guessing a true statement out of two they provide. If the viewers outwit Mark, they'll be given a t-shirt and a mug with Kelly and Mark's faces on them. The day's contestant gave two statements. I have three dogs and I have three kids. It was a bit odd as both Mark and Kelly asked pointed questions that would have given away the answers. Mark and Kelly asked questions like what the dog's names were and what kind of dogs the caller, Lisa, might have. But none of those questions would work in the context of the game. They would have, in fact, kept Lisa from winning. She kept saying, I don't know, and I can't tell you that instead. Are you married, Lisa? Mark asked. Can I talk to the husband, please? Lisa joked that things were getting a little too personal. Mark paused before saying, this is weird. Kelly giggled, I like it. Fans took to social media to lambaste the segment as weird as well. One wrote, Stump Mark was weird and painful to watch today lol. Another commented, gee she didn't want to answer anything. Viewers weren't used to callers being so coy about their secrets. Mark they espied. Meanwhile, Mark gave fans a look at the first apartment he rented with Kelly. Mark took it upon himself to share some places in New York City that are close to his heart. Those included spots where he spent time with Kelly in the early days of their relationship. After stopping at the building, he first met Kelly in and a restaurant the pair used to eat at together. Mark decided to take viewers somewhere else. He headed out to the first apartment he and Kelly shared together. 200 West 60th Street, our first apartment together, he said outside of the building. Let's go inside, he said as he took viewers in. Mark opened the door to a spacious apartment. It's a little different, he said as he explored. We had a wall here, there was a galley kitchen, this is nice and open, he said as he continued taking viewers through the space. It was a large area, larger than likely what most first-time apartment renters have, especially in NYC. This was our bedroom, Mark said as he waltzed through the home. We had this apartment when we first married and Kelly was pregnant with Michael, he pointed out. He headed around to an area that looked like a laundry area. A little known thing is that when I put in a washer and dryer here, they had to shut down the building. The apartment building apparently decided to keep the washer and dryer. Mark also appreciated the outdoor space, which he called the key to the apartment. The same bracket for the satellite dish he installed when he was there was still on the wall too. He also continued back to son Michael's first room. Such great memories here, he said as he took in everything. Team I. Meanwhile, Kelly shopped viewers with an NSFW story about Mark on a recent episode. The talk show host discussed the moment during last Friday's episode of Live with Kelly and Mark. It all started at the beginning of the show when Mark noted that it had been four weeks since he injured his ring finger. He then held up his finger for the audience, showing his cast leading Kelly to rant about how her husband has handled his injury. Kelly joked that Mark loved being injured and that she had been his co-surgeon throughout the entire healing process. She continued, When Mark wants to do the pageantry of the finger and the re-wrapping of the finger and the re-maintaining of the finger, he waits until I'm naked, out of the shower, and I've got my anti-aging oils. And he waits until I'm mid-lubrication. And he goes, Babe, can you give me a hand here? And I go, Yeah, just a second. Kelly explained as she pretended to apply lotion to her legs. And then I have to stop what I'm doing. Now I'm like, 
naked and afraid. I'm wet, I'm cold, I'm slippery, and I've got to administer first aid. Mark then defended his actions and hinted that sometimes it was a cue for something else. Kelly questioned, what was it a cue for? Though Mark played coy and replied, I'm not sure. The mom of three then joked, if you think that help me bandage my fox injury is foreplay, then we have drifted. We are now on separate islands.